Hi, Vibe Coders. I'm Vikram, founder of Cloudbean. Today, we're going to learn how you can actually deploy your websites from Lovable or some similar kind of Vibe Coding platforms where you are looking forward to actually deploy your website built by prompts, hosting on live production environments. So this is how you can actually make your website public without actually paying and wasting so much of money on different platforms itself and having metered billing. So let's get started. And another thing, you can actually host unlimited number of websites. So this is a Lovable. It's a Vibe Coding platform. Most of the viewers are actually right now watching this video is knowing already what Lovable is. But again, still giving an introduction so that people can really understand if some of people are aware of what Lovable is at in actual. So the Lovable is a platform which allows you to actually create applications front end with just prompts. You don't have to worry about like, you don't have to be a coder as well. You just have to give in a human written prompt and it will automatically create a website for you itself so let's uh, dive into it and before uh start writing anything i would recommend actually to just create a prompt uh, like i have created already just for this video where i just want to build a website for my ai agency using a lovable demo, including of the single and compressive prompt uh asking the chat gpt itself to create a compressive prompt uh and website should have about us page there should be a vision right with you so you just have to give him an uh, introduction and giving the home and your address like we are actually right now in darren kennedy gets so i'm on my i'm using my support email as well so you can actually put yours so that prompt can the chat gpt can actually include this into the prompt so that the website header and footer and can be populated with the right details without actually wasting your credit on lovable itself so all we have to do is just give it to the chat gpt and chat gpt will give us a very uh, good prompt which can actually really uh, bring a good website out of lovable and all we have to do is just copy this uh, copy control c and paste it here now all we have to do is just give in a command which is, and it's going to take a couple of minutes uh sometimes less than two minutes sometimes more than five minutes but it's going to actually create a website with all of the requirements which we have already shared and while we waited for a couple of minutes and our website is now ready so once you do that all we have to do is just uh connect with that our uh, github itself since uh like for this particular video i'm just creating a um, new account with github using my email address and uh, if somehow you have your account already with you you can use your uh already existing exam and i'm using my new account so so that we can actually have it for as a fresh install for the people who are not actually having any account till now and uh, let's sign in after using the same same email address and password so this is how we have created our uh account all you have to do is go into this like github and since we are into the same browser it's going to allow us directly we don't have to again resign any and once we do it all we have to do is add organization so this is something which is again part of uh, get uh all we have to do is again install an authorization the majority it's just like like i know we have an hotel like yeah, this is a cloud being demo and yeah now just connect it Once we have done, so this is how we are actually getting it uh, published. The code base is now going pushed into GitHub itself. So all we have to do is just navigate to this button and just click on this. So this is the code we just got published by Lovable and this is now posted on GitHub. Now the third step is like just create an account on Cloudbean. So talking about the Cloudbean, Cloudbean is a managed infrastructure. So you don't have to actually be worried about actually uh, any DevOps or anything which you have to learn before actually start deploying your applications. It is not limited to only lovable applications. It can actually have hundreds of different applications. You can actually post it on the same same environment. You don't have to navigate or juggle between multiple platforms. Everything is available within the platform and uh, from Cloudflare CDN to static apps to S3 um, and many more. So talking about uh, pricing, uh, it's a start from $8 and $8 will allow you to have multiple websites. Uh, I have tested it out. You can have 40, 50 websites on started line of $8. So it's just starting it. Uh, let's get like on get started. The sign up page, you have to put your email address. I'm sending it. Sending OTP will be sent on your email address. I'm just paste it and click on verify. Once you click it verify, it will actually start showing you this email address and verify it and start building. Now, this is the process of getting registered onto Cloudbean. And once you do it, this is the first dashboard which you enter into the Cloudbean. So once you log in, and uh, it's going to show you when the thing is there. So all you have to do is just click on the ad server the first time you launched a new account on Cloudbean. Just click on launch server. 
and you have a selection of uh, any of the cloud providers so it's totally up to you so i am just going with the lean old sim and uh, selecting the application you have multiple applications so you can host any of them before you have a wordpress application or you want to have anything but for this video just uh, i'm just choosing lovable site and uh, you can select any one of them either allowable or react or Vue.js. you can select any of them anyone will work seamlessly so uh, this is because javascript based application and according to the cloud provider you will have a data center as a selection like giving example right now chicago itself and uh, since it's going to be my agency website so what i'm going to do is ai agency and website now server can be it's only with this white code and since you can select any of the server sites depending on your budget itself but uh usually the platform itself recommends to have a minimum of 4gb so i'm going with the 4gb right now so just all you have to click is on launch free trial so it's got does actually allows you to just launch a free trial at on the server without actually uh it's just one dollar they're going to charge you for the first time but this is a refundable if somehow you cancel your server and you don't like cloud B, this will be refunded so this is not actually going to be good once you complete the payment uh it will redirect to you this page till the time we just uh, it's gonna take four to five minutes to get launch your server it's gonna actually create server and install the application and i'm stopping this video and just going to start restart again once the server is completely launched just taking your walkthrough itself so we have admin details here we have health conditions are like cpu usage disk usage ram usage at the same point of time services like some of apache nginx you can restart and all and configuration of some php settings and all engineering mysql settings like example of uh, if you want to increase something or decrease something and you can do that firewall settings you can actually save site your server at the same point of time smtp you can have your smtp configured onto them and the same point of time the backup's the biggest thing with the server site it's like the hosting which is coming with the cloud being as a free of cost and now taking the look of the server itself and we have navigated to applications so this is where we are going to bring up our lovable website uh, just click on this and uh, this is where you actually able to access it the url is coming up with you so it's right now showing the view there itself and uh, we have just all we have to do is just navigate to deploy code so under deploy code we have to enable there are two ways to do it so you can either you can download and upload all of the files of the website directly onto the launch uh, but that is not recommended because it, you do actually need uh, some some kind of technical thing which is npm and all you have to make a build because that is code which is not directly be posted you have to make a build and then upload it to uh, make it actually live but uh, if since we are actually deploying it in one case all we have to do is just click uh, enable get integration and there are two ways again to do it one says just go into github and uh, go into settings and make it public itself like i just have to change the access of the repository of the visibility to change visibility to public uh if somehow you don't want to make it public you all you can do is just navigate to this just show ssh key uh copy to clipboard and once you do it copy to clipboard close it and navigate back to the github and closing the staff and uh, go up so you will be seeing settings here settings and you will be seeing here itself the secret deploy keys and deploy keys. so go into the de deploy keys add deploy key and you can name as uh, cloud bean website and just paste the, the key which we have to click. add key we don't have to click on the allow now it's done right so just navigate back to this particular button which is code and click on again on the code it's the green button and click on ssh itself so you can use this one as well but the, the ssh one is the good one and all you have to do is copy this one and come back to cloud beans dashboard and the under the application settings under deploy code all you have to do is just paste this is the grid branch address so what cloud bean is going to do is the, the address which we have actually already authenticated that is this particular uh cloud beans application should have access to the code so it's gonna bring that code make a build and make it live this is good and again uh, you all once you paste the address you just have to click on this button it's gonna take a second and the branch is updated now select the branch which is the main branch since we don't have any other branch uh and you don't need it actually for the beginner level itself and just clone now 
once you click it it will bring up all the data from the git to your uh, cloud Beans server and since now it is done so you can see there are two buttons which is disable repo and uh, pull and deploy all you have to do is just click on pull and deploy it's gonna pull and deploy the, this is now the build and deployment process is going on so build is going to be automatic you don't have to do manual processes like other hosting platforms are allowing it it's just simple you just have to click pull and deploy and it's gonna take around uh, one or two minutes not one or two minutes more not more than 30 seconds i guess most of the time and uh what um, what i'm going to do is just giving you a walkthrough how other settings of this particular application works here so if somehow you just have certain permission changes you can change it to this just by this doing this if you want access to the ssh for this particular this application it can enable as well and now talking about the biggest part which is domain analysis since we are actually launching a new website right so it's being coming from the lovable and we have to map it to the domain name so this is where you have to put the, under the settings of domain analysis where you have to just select on this click on the add domain i am not having any domain name specifically right now so i'm just clip but taking bringing one of the domain names from my cloudflare account if you are having your dns different from it so go daddy or some any from where you have uh bought your domain name you can bring from login into that account i'm actually having it from cloudflare so i'm just logging into cloudflare i'm logging into my account and once you log in into yours just how all you have to go is dns records and a record click on that uh, just to navigate back to cloud Bean, go on to server itself once you go to the server just you have to bring this ip address you go into that put a, a select here itself a record and this is your this is your ip before address and here you have to do either you have you can select add the it or your domain name again it's a similar thing so even if you yeah so you can do this which server your domain name is to be going to be redirected to here. So once you do this and save it, this is all you have to do in your DNS settings. Cloud Bean account, again to maps, into AI, the domain analysis. All you have to do is just like an example, I'm right now mapping it to my cloudbean.co and save. since uh, we have already got our deployment done so it's completed showing completed all you have to do is that you can do is uh select go into access to click on this your website should be available here so, so yeah so as we can see it's right now available onto this website so website which we deployed from lovable uh to cloud Bean is now live onto the staging url which is coming from cloud Bean site now but now talking about the domain name right so again come back going back to domain analysis and all you have to do is just click on this three dots and make primary so once you do this uh it will make it primary domain name you don't have to again do anything other than actually changing the dns record a record once you start seeing the dns record as a primary right so this domain all you have to do is just go into that and now talking about if you want to make it automated right so this is also possible whenever you just publish anything from the lovable and it can actually re uh, implement automatically you don't have to come and pull and deploy every time so all you have to do is build the automatic cicd triggers itself all you have to just enable this once you do this we have two things which is one is webhook another is secret tool so just click on copy this button and navigate to this uh now this is something which again we have to move to settings itself for the code base and we have an option called webhooks now just go into the navigate to webhooks and add webhook we just have to select the to paste this webhook url and select the application json once you do it navigate back to your cloud bin dashboard copy this uh, secret token now just have to click paste this there is no other setting you have to change add webhook since we have done it so now we have we can see that the webhook is enabled so every time the changes are going to be pushed like giving example if you go into this uh, domain name right so we are not actually having anything right now on this domain name it's gonna it's automatically brought that red color changes to this website so if someone let us change it to green without actually going into the dashboard itself uh, since we have already integrated the love uh, the hooks itself now all you have to just please make it green since we can say the, the changes that has been made onto this all we have to do is again publish click on update once we click it update the blowable is going to push everything onto the gate itself and now we don't have to go into since we have already integrated the webhook site so, so all you have to do is just go in there and see if somehow it has been deployed it's going to take time 
Meanwhile, we can see that the refresh, we click refresh, right? So they're actually going to have a pulp pull as a completed itself. And uh, the changes should be reflected automatically. We don't have to do anything in the cloud being itself. So once the whole process is completed, okay. every time, everything, anything coming from Lavable will be directly deployed to your main website. So you don't have to do anything manually again. So uh, now talking about the having multiple applications on the cloud being server, right? Since we have launched one server, there is no restriction on the platform itself to launch new and multiple applications. Just click on navigate to the server, so navigate to the application, then under the server, so add application, click any type of application. Like give an example, if you want to bring a new website, like similar to this, or you can select view or react itself as well. Second, lovable app and select the server and add application it's gonna take around 30 seconds less than 30 seconds it's gonna install another application and you just navigate to the apps so we have a second level let you just click on this again the similar kind of process we just have to enable the get itself since uh since it's every application is going to have a separate ssh key uh so we have to actually again enable the, this is how you are actually launching your multiple application on a single server itself so there is, since it's on the, again saying the Git branch is fetch failed because we are not authenticated with the SSH itself and the repository has not been made public. So it's gonna throw us that, that error, but um, it's totally fine because every time you launch a new application, you have a different Git branch, right? So you have to authenticate with the SSH. So this is very much important to make. So this is how you do have multiple applications. There is, um, like a giving example, I can have WordPress as well. If you have a WordPress application, if you have any type of application, you can install those as well. and uh, at the same point of time, there is another thing which we are looking forward to since Superbase uh, is one of the things which we can connect to the Lovable itself. So the Lovable is actually directly promoting as well, like uh, Superbase is there. Uh, since Superbase is also paid on Cloudbean, you don't have to pay extra. Just, just navigate to Tools and Add Tool. Now select Superbase. Uh, Superbase uh, AI Agency website. Now I'll have to select the server itself and the same server will allow me actually to self-hosted uh, super base on the same server. So you don't have to pay for lovable itself for the hosting, the custom domains to attach to it. And at the same point of time, you don't have to pay super base anymore. So only one single server and you have both of the backend and frontend on running on one single server without actually having any metered billing. So it's going to take around uh, 30 seconds again. So uh, 30, 30, 40 seconds. Uh, let's pause this video and uh, I will just restart once the solution has been completed. And we have our Superbase call installed, which have taken two minutes. So you will be able to see this tools here itself as well. So this is how we actually have access to the Superbase as well without paying it. And let's just select this and it will allow you to just have this password and ID. Just copy and paste. Sign in. And here we have our Superbase self hosted live running onto the platform itself, the same server. Mm -hmm. uh, and by just giving a couple of things from this uh, the configuration of variables, you can have your Superbase connected to Lovable and Lovable will be able to communicate via, via the books itself. And that was part of another video. We will do another video and make it sure that uh, it's also covered. So how you can actually have your Superbase connected to your lovable apps and hosted on the same server on Cloud B. And this is how we are actually going to have a server uh, launched and we have unlimited number of websites hosted on our Cloud B server. <clears throat> and there is no restrictions. There's someone is always available on chat as well. If someone is something on the Someone should be available actually on the go itself to just make it sure they're delivering it rightly. Thank you guys for staying this long. I guess uh, uh, you are very much now comfortable in bringing your lovable websites or white coded websites to your server itself within the platform and just don't have to pay every month for the lovable if somehow you're not changing, putting any changes. And at some point, just uh, not to supervise as well. And you can scale it up. Now everything is under your control. There is nothing can go bad, right? So, thank you.